Friday, September 7th, 2018. This is what I believe is a word from God Almighty to his precious children. My dear precious children, why do you continue to sleep as though you have plenty of time left upon this earth, this earth in which I had created and in which Satan has corrupted with this filthiness of pride, selfishness, lusts, demons, pedophiles, murderers, rapists, cannibals, demons, fallen angels, greed, jealousy, oppression, depression, idolatry, wickedness, sin. Shall I go on and on with regards to this place in which you call your home? Which you say your home truly is? You desire fake gods. You desire to worship idols and self. You place man on a pedestal. You disgrace what a true lover of my son Jesus truly is. You say that you love me with all of your heart. Do you really? Do you love my precious and beloved son? Or do you play a game of pretend, make believe from within the walls of your prejudiced clubhouse in which you call the church an actual house of God? I created and chose for you to be the church. I created you and chose for you to not be inclusive. Rather, to include with open arms, open minds, and open hearts. All of my beautiful creation, whom seek me, their creator, the only true and living God who desires for my children to receive my powerful, active healing, forgiving, and saving love. I am love. What the people in this world long for is my pure love. Are you giving my love freely to all who come to you to lead them into my love? Are you picking and choosing for me? The ones which whom you judge as being acceptable in your eyes to be able to know about and receive my love? My judgments have already begun. I will not tolerate my love being tainted and even trashed any longer. Repent, repent, repent. Oh, you foolish virgins, and woe to you who call yourselves mine. Woe to all who claim to have Jesus in their hearts, yet fail to love my people, my creation. For Jesus and I are one, and I am love. You give love a bad name. Because of your desire for people and things of this world, which is run by Satan, because you truly seek from within your hearts to worship this world rather than me, your creator. Because you have chosen to keep people, things, sin, false gods, false teachers, false preachers, false prophets, and even yourself. In the number one spot in your heart, which I say is meant for my precious son, Jesus Christ, and no other. Here are my judgments upon you. Many of you will be left behind to suffer and die for my son, Jesus, during this ultimate trial for your soul's eternal destination. I will allow you to ask Jesus for forgiveness. I will allow you to seek me wholeheartedly and repent. Come back to your first love. All who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Come now. For some, I ask you to rededicate yourselves to me, your first love. 
For others, I ask you to come to me for your first time. Repent, I say. Repent. I am not a religion. I am not a building or a clubhouse. I am the true living God who will have each and every human being whom I have created and whom I long to love. I will have everyone sit before me on judgment day. Everyone will be before me alone to give an account for whom they truly love and worship. I am the only one who can judge you and determine where you will spend all of eternity, heaven or hell. Choose this day who you will love and worship. Once saved, always saved is a lie from the actual pits of hell. From the father of all lies, Satan. You must love my son, Jesus Christ. You must repent of all sin. Ask Jesus to forgive you of all sin, spiritual and physical. And with my son's help, turn completely away from all sin. You must ask my son, Jesus Christ, into your heart as your Lord and Savior. Through a loving relationship with Jesus, you will receive the true salvation. His cross is the only bridge to heaven for eternity. Jesus is the only way you may enter into heaven. You must love my son. When you love my son, you love me, for we are one. And we desire for you to be one with us as well for all of eternity. Love your creator, Father God Almighty.